Good afternoon and welcome to the 20th Dodge County Holstein Futurity. 23 years ago, the vision of a Dodge County Holstein Futurity was born to honor the renowned, renowned registered Holsteins of Dodge County. Through countless uh, hours of, of the founding Futurity Committee, the first Futurity was held in 2002. The Futurity has persevered through rained on hay, low milk prices, long hours, and a pandemic to become the Saturday afternoon tradition of elegant dress and the very best Holstein two-year-olds Dodge County has to offer. Today we get to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Dodge County Holstein Futurity and all those who have gone before to make it into the event that it is today. Our dignitaries for this afternoon are, and if they would just raise their hand, Judge Chris McCullough, and we'll be hearing more about him a little bit later. Our MCs, my partner here, Terry Costello, our ringman, Roger Hildebrandt, Kevin Jorgensen, Zach Tolsman, and Grady Wendorf. Royalty, which you'll be hearing from more a little bit later also, Maddie Hensel, the Wisconsin Holstein Princess, and Leah Wenninger, the 2022 Dodge County Fairest of the Fair. Ring check-in is Troy Wendorf. Ring cleanup are Faith and Jackie Paulson. Our photographer today is Mara Booty. And I'm going to ask you now to all please rise for the national anthem being sung by another one of our very talented area egg teachers from the Houstonsford School District, Sierra Erke Essock. Thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail just a reminder, we're going to need the fairest of the fair at the uh, trackside here just before 1 o'clock. Fairest of the fair, we're going to need you to do the national anthem for the tractor pull. parts we watched were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. All right, the first two classes are going to be the 7,000-pound non-turbo. They will be on the grandstand tractor tracks. And the 6,000 non-turbo open the ring class this afternoon will be on the inside Seth track. Leading Nails so Valley those War folks should be Arrow. getting ready because Seth we're going to get this uh, at Nails Valley Farm puppy started by 1 o'clock on time. TMR, the total mixed ration for feedings and manages the crops, which mainly consists of corn and alfalfa. Seth's proudest moment in the dairy industry has been having his first homebred Brown Swiss All-American nomination in 2021 and owning part of the Intermediate Champion Holstein at World Dairy Expo in 2019, Floyd Home Mkimojai. Seth Nails leading Nails Valley War Arrow. Joining us next is Brant Fleer, leading Warmka Warrior Liberty Red. Brant considers himself the cow guy at Fleer Haven Holsteins. There they milk 65 cows with a rolling herd average of 23,475 pounds of milk. They say it takes a village and at Fleer Haven, Brant works alongside of Brad, Monica, Bridget, Morgan, and Beckett. Brant's proudest moment in the dairy industry is in all honesty, is being able to say that he is a registered breeder in the great county of Dodge. Let's welcome Brant and Liberty to the show ring. Entries number three and four are a scratch 
Entry number five is Warmka Diamondback, 34 and 93, being led by Danielle Warmka. Danielle is currently the Midwest Field Representative for Innovative Liquids. She has worked on the Innovative Liquids team since graduating from UW-Madison in May of 2019. In her spare time, she enjoys spending time with her dog, Gracie, and exploring the outdoors by going hiking, kayaking, and paddleboarding. Danielle's favorite memory of the Dodge County Somebody Dairy from Show the was Association will have to see to it that the fairest Christlia, of the fair has transportation Rat out here to County be able to do the her National proudest Anthem. moment in the dairy industry so is when she brought her we're, first we're bread and old cow to World Dairy Expo and ended up placing in the top 10 of that class. Welcome Warmka Diamondback 3493 and Danielle to the ring. Hailing from Watertown, Wisconsin, entering the ring next is Angela Pyrek, leading Red Rodeo R Adeline Red. Angela is a mother to three boys, a wife to Daniel for almost 12 years, an entrepreneur for a couple of different companies, and she enjoys being outside gardening, crafting, canning, and her cows. Angela has a lot of proud moments in the dairy industry, including from the time she gets to see a newborn homebred calf to watching it mature into a cow who then has a homebred calf of her own. But her most memorable moment was when she had her first bred and owned red and white cow, Red Rodeo Carson Legacy Red Go Excellent 90 with an excellent 93 mammary system. Angela looks forward to continuing to grow her herd and get more excellence in the future. Again, let's welcome entry number six, Red Rodeo R Adeline Red. Tia Hildebrandt is leading Mill Jean Warrior Outlaw. Tia will be a senior at Houstisford High School where she is secretary of the Houstisford FFA. In addition, she is president of the Sinisippi 4-H Club. She plays volleyball, basketball, and runs track and field through school. During the summer, Tia works on the family farm, Mocha Vino Coffee Shop, Basil Lair and Company, and the Hartford Boys and Girls Club. Tia's proudest moment has been working alongside her dad and grandpa, taking care of the calves at the farm. She is also proud of the farm's recent success in the junior show at the Dodge County Fair. Tia Hildebrandt leading Miljean Warrior Outlaw. Entering the ring now is Emma Buskey leading Nails Valley Master Bikini. Emma is 20 years old and lives on her family's dairy farm in Watertown, Wisconsin. She works full-time at Nails Valley Holsteins as a calf feeder and is also a full-time real estate agent. Emma also just joined the Dodge County Holstein Futurity Committee. Emma's proudest moment in the dairy industry was in 2021 when she had the reserve champion calf at the Wisconsin State Fair, which was also her first time showing there. She also has another memory that shares the spotlight, which also took place last year right here in this ring when she took second place in the Futurity. Let's welcome Emma and Arrow to the ring. Northcrest Tattoo 3733 is being led by Marissa Spoke. Northcrest Tattoo 3733 is the entry of Northcrest Dairy Inc. of Waterloo, Wisconsin. Northcrest Dairy is operated by Bob and Chris Topol and Jeffrey and Jennifer Spoke. Marissa will be a freshman at Waterloo High School. She's a member of Waterloo FFA, Dodge County Junior Holstein Association, and is secretary of the Portland Boosters 4-H Club. In addition to showing dairy, she also shows dairy steers and owns a small beef herd with her siblings, Ian, Malcolm, and Finn. She plays football, softball, and percussion in the band. Marissa's proudest moment was placing in the top 10 junior dairy judging contest in 2021 as an individual. Please welcome Marissa and Northcrest Tattoo 3733 to the ring. 
Up next is entry number 11, Marlind K. Sweet Victory. Linda Wright is in the ring, next leading Marlin K. Sweet Victory. Linda is a full-time managing partner with her husband, Mark, as they farm 375 acres of corn, alfalfa, and soybeans. Their third-generation family farm is operated in Johnson Creek, Wisconsin. Linda and Mark have earned quality milk awards and several PBR awards, production honors, and were Watertown's area outstanding young farmer runner-ups. Linda is involved in the Jefferson County Agribusiness Club, is a lifetime FFA alumni member, and leader in the Jefferson County 4-H Dairy Project. Linda's proudest moment in the dairy industry was breeding a fifth-generation homebred excellent cow family. Sweet Victory is a potential sixth, being the daughter of Sweet Sensation Excellent 94. Also earning top honors in the 2014 Wisconsin Holstein Futurity, breeding and merchandising a junior All-American Honorable Mention Holstein, and most of all, watching her children grow up and continue to be active in the dairy industry and share her passion for registered cattle. Let's welcome Linda and Sweet Victory to the ring. Joining us next is Kristen Bischoff, who is leading Bonview Altitude Sophia. Tristan is a 2021 graduate of Houstonford High School where she took part in FFA, basketball, and soccer. During those years, she received many 100% awards for both of the sports, but also received second team all-conference for her last year of soccer. She's a member of the Junior Holstein Association and works at Boneview Registered Holstein's Dairy Farm where she milks cows and stepped up to take over the calf aspect of the farm. Tristan really enjoys being in charge of the calves at Boneview and being able to see the excellent outcomes so far. She would like to send a special thanks to Dan Bone for giving her the chance to do so as well as allowing her to show his animals. She would also like to thank Aaron and Marissa Bowen for all of their help and support throughout the years. Tristan's proudest moment thus far has been getting first place in showmanship at this year's district show. Please welcome Tristan and Sophia to the ring. Up next is entry number 13. Travis Smith enters the ring next leading Ms. Smith Crest Master All. Travis, along with his wife Holly and children Leah, Hattie, and Blake, own and operate Smithcrest Holsteins in Watertown. There they run 500 acres of hay, corn, and soybeans, as well as milk 120 cows. Smithcrest Holsteins is a boarding facility with clients from across the globe. Some of Travis's favorite memories have been made with the many friends he's made in Dodge County. A group of Dodge County breeders has a string at World Dairy Expo, and that is one of his favorite weeks of the year. Let's welcome Travis and Master All to the ring. Mill Jean War, War Joust Red is being led by Trey Hildebrand. Trey will be a sophomore at Houstonford High School. He plays baseball, basketball, and soccer, along with being a member of the Mississippi 4-H Club and Houstonford FFA. Trey enjoys coming to the farm daily in the summer where he continually learns how to do more tasks around the farm. He also enjoys hunting and fishing in his free time. Trey's proudest moment has been exhibiting the Grand Champion Cow at the Wisconsin Open State Fair. Mill Jean War jo Joust Red being led by Trey Hildebrand. Our next dynamic duo is Kayla Wright leading Mar Linda K. Ariel Red. Kayla is a 2014 UW River Falls graduate with a Bachelor of Science degree in Marketing Communications with an emphasis in agriculture and a minor in dairy science. She was on the collegiate dairy judging team and also a part of the UW River Falls biannual Falcon Premier Sale and Selection Committees. In 2017, Kayla placed as a high individual in the Hordes Dairy Judging Contest and again in 2021. 
She owns a freelance graphic design and photography business where her works has placed in the advertising contest through and with the Wisconsin Holstein Association four times. These displays were advertisements for her family's farm and other dairy farmers breeders throughout the state. Kayla is currently the communications specialist at Daybreak Foods Incorporated in Lake Mills. She also owns several head of Holstein, mostly red and white, and has bred many very good and excellent daughters. Let's welcome Kayla and Ariel to the ring. Up next is another Mayville, Wisconsin entry. Rebecca Schraufnagel is leading Ledgeway Undenied Laughter. Laughter is the first daughter of Ledgeway Beamer Light Me Up, Excellent 92. Light Me Up was honorable mention senior three-year-old 2021 and was third place first bred and owned at World Dairy Expo also in 2021. This memory is Ledgeway's most memorable because Light Me Up was their first ever World Dairy Expo entry. They also enjoy helping the youth and having four girls exhibiting and working with their animals this year for shows. Rebecca is married to Miles Schroffnagel and together they have two children, Danica six and Mitchell four. All together with Miles' parents, Bob and Dan, they operate Ledgeway Halsteins. The farm consists of 90 cows and 1,500 acres where they grow hay, corn, soybeans, and wheat. Let's welcome Rebecca and Laughter to the ring. Up next is our Futurity winner from 2021. Mary Gundrum is leading Mary B. Warrior Lovey Red. Mary is employed at Mid-State Equipment in Jackson where she works as a service writer. She's a member of the Mayville FFA Alumni as well as the Wisconsin FFA Alumni Association. Mary's cow Lovey is classified very good 85 and is housed at Camp House Farms. Lovey's sister Mary B. Absolute Love and Red won last year's Futurity. Let's welcome Mary and Lovey to the ring. Kylie Conan is entering the ring next, leading Nails Valley, a lover red. Kylie is going into her sophomore year at UW-Madison, where she is majoring in dairy science with certificates in agricultural business and communications. At school, she is a member of the Badger Dairy Club, Collegiate Farm Bureau, and Association for Women in Agriculture. She is the current global marketing intern for ABS and is full-time as an undergraduate research assistant. Regardless of being raised on her family's dairy farm, which is also the last remaining dairy farm in San Diego, California, Kylie's participation in the dairy industry has taken her around the country, including serving as the 2021 National Jersey Queen. Kylie Conan exhibiting Nails Valley, a lover rad. Entry number 22, Paul Giese is leading Ledgeway Tattoo Lavish into the ring. Paul works full-time on his parents' farm in Mayville. There they milk 60 cows and farm 240 acres with his father and uncle. He also works part-time at Cool Breeze Dairy, where he milks 165 cows and helps with mating and genetics. He enjoys his free time being involved in city recreational basketball and softball. Paul's proudest moment in the dairy industry has been breeding Fireball P. Red, a lineback bull which has sold semen all over the United States and Canada, Ecuador, and Australia. He enjoys meeting people from all over the world in the dairy industry. Let's welcome Paul and Lavish. Entering the ring next is Elizabeth Gunst leading Ladinodale Warlord Red. Elizabeth is a senior this year at Lakeside Lutheran High School. She is the sixth generation on the family farm in Houstisford where she and her brother Matthew own and operate Ladinodale Holsteins and Jerseys and their own boarding business where they currently raise 35 show heifers. 
Elizabeth serves as the president of the Herman Hornets 4-H Club and the Lakeside Lutheran FFA. She also serves on the Wisconsin Junior Hosting Activities Committee. Elizabeth's proudest moment in the dairy industry was working all year long to develop Dash's delusion and being named the Junior All-American Jersey Winter Cav and Honorable Mention Junior Champion of the All-American Junior Jersey Show. Elizabeth Gunst leading Ladinodale Warlord Red. Up next, we have Taylor Leach leading Miljean Tattoo Jigaboo. Taylor Leach, the fiance of Brett Hildebrandt, is a native of Linwood, Kansas, where she grew up on her family's 50 cow registered Holstein and Jersey dairy farm. Taylor met Brett at the Kansas State Fair in 2020 and 2012, and the two started dating in 2018. In 2020, she decided it was time to try living in the dairy straight date and moved to Wisconsin. She actively helps at Hildebrandt Family Farms. Taylor is a writer for Dairy Herd Management Magazine and graduated from Oklahoma State University with a degree in animal science and agricultural communications. Taylor's proudest moment is having exhibited the best bred and owned junior owned Jersey cow at World Dairy Expo and had her family has bred three Jersey cows that have classified excellent 95. Let's welcome Taylor and Jigaboo to the ring. Joining us next is Kevin Budkowski leading Tom Lou Unix Blondie. Blondie belongs to a herd of 110 cows that are owned and operated by Tom and Luann Budkowski and their son Kevin. There, they have a rolling herd average of 23,000 pounds of milk. The Horicon farm itself consists of 650 acres where they grow rotations of corn, alfalfa, oats, and grain. Kevin is a member of the Holstein Association and also an active member of St. Stephen's Lutheran Church in Horicon. Let's welcome Kevin and Blondie to the ring. Our next beautiful pair entering the ring is Cadence Tennies leading Boneview Defiant Bella. Cadence graduated this year from Mayville High School. She is currently working as a can at Cross, Crossroads Care Center and also helps milk at Boneview Dairy Farm. She is a member of the Junior Holstein Association and hopes to pursue the nursing career in the future. Cadence is glad to have the opportunity to work on a dairy farm as well as show cattle. She'd like to send a special thanks to Dan Bone and Aaron and Marissa for all of their support throughout the years and allowing her to show their cattle. Once again, let's welcome Cadence and Bella to our ring. Next up, Justin Patterson is leading Inspire Acres, Jacoby Macy. Justin has been a full-time employee of the farm since he graduated from high school. He is married to Anna Patterson and they have one daughter, Elena. Justin's proudest moment have been building and finishing their double eight parlor in the fall of 2021 and being able to enjoy the farm life with his wonderful family. Please welcome Inspire Acres, Jacoby Macy, shown by Justin Patterson. Up next in the ring is Ben Buskey from Go Big Holsteins leading Arethusa Tattoo Mammo. Go Big Holsteins resides in Mayville and consists of John, Cheryl, Kayla, Jared, and Ben Buskey. Ben graduated in 2020 from UW-Madison with a bachelor's degree in dairy science. He is currently self-employed as a dairy fitter, which is a full-time job that allows him to travel across the country preparing cattle for sales and shows. Ben's proudest moments are those helping breeders and owners from all different walks of life get to their goals in the show ring. Let's welcome Mamo and Ben to the ring. Evan Hathaway is leading Nails Valley Lovely Red ET. 
with the entry from Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst. Evan is the 17-year-old son of Josh and Alicia Hathaway from Barneveld, Wisconsin. This coming fall, he will be a senior at Barneveld High School where he will be focusing on completing dual credit courses towards agricultural business and dairy science. Outside of school, Evan spends his time raising show heifers, bidding cattle, and working for numerous farms at shows. He also serves as a member of the Wisconsin Junior Activities Committee. Evan's proudest moment in the industry was this summer at Southwest Wisconsin High Protein Show in which he helped prepare four junior champions, a Supreme and Reserve Super Supreme Champion Heifer, and two honorable mention junior champions of the respective breeds. Please welcome Evan Hathaway leading Nails Valley Lovely Red E.T. Brett Hildebrandt is leading Inspire Acres D-back H.H. Savage. Savage is the entry of Steve and Sharon Patterson and Justin, Anna, and Elena Patterson. Brett is a 2010 Houstonford High School graduate and attended UW-Madison's Farm and Industry Short Course for two years where he received certificates in dairy herd management and crops and soils. Upon graduation from Short Course, Brett returned home to the family farm. Brett continues to stay around the show ring, taking care of their animals along with housing other people's cows. Brett is on the Dodge County Forage Association, the Dodge County DHI Board, and is on the Dodge County Dairy Youth Committee. Brett thoroughly enjoys working with the youth and giving back to the industry that has taught him so much in life. Brett's proudest moment is taking care of the two-time World Dairy Expo Grand Champion Milking Shorthorn, Fudge Maple of 12 Oaks, for the Brandle family. Working with Fudge on a daily basis and getting her ready for the show ring has been a lifetime dream come true. Let's welcome Brett and Savage. And last and far from least is Nails Valley Shocker Red ET being led by Cassidy Ewart. Nails Valley consists of 250 milk cows. Of those, 140 are Holsteins, 50 are Jerseys, and 10 are Brown Swiss. Nails Valley is owned and cared for by Jean and Janet Nails and their sons, Brandon, Sean, and Seth, as well as Emma Buska, who is their calf feeder. Cassidy is going to into her senior year at UW-Whitewater, where she is majoring in general management and minoring in data analytics. At school, Cassidy is a part of American Marketing Association's data analytics organization. For fun, she plays intramural volleyball year-round. This past summer, Cassidy interned at Target, where she was an operations manager for the distribution center. She is a Houston Sport FFA and Mississippi 4-H alumni. Cassidy's proudest moment in the dairy industry has been working on a dairy farm for the last two and a half years to help her pay for college. Let's welcome Cassidy Ewart and Shocker to the ring. And that, ladies and gentlemen, rounds out the animals for the 20th Dodge County Holstein Futurity. Wow, Rennell, what an amazing group of cows we've gathered here in Dodge County today. Well, we didn't hear the judge ask if there weren't any more because we've <laughs> had judges at the Dodge County Futurity say, what, there, this is all there is? Oh, I don't think that's going to be an issue. This is an amazing group that we have here with us today. But let's learn a little bit about who our judge is, who has this monumental task of uh, trying to figure out how he's going to place this group. Our judge today is Chris McCullough of Judah, along with his wife Kathy and children Rachel and Mac, operate Rock and Hill 2 Holsteins, where they milk uh, 50 cows and raise an additional 90 head of young stock. The rolling herd average is 26,300 pounds of milk, 1,064 of fat, and 960 pounds of protein. Chris has bred and developed over 160 excellent cows in the 27 years their farm has been in existence. Of these, 25 cows have scored excellent 94 or better. The current BAA is 113.5% with 37 excellent, 18 very good, and two good plus cows. 
Now, Chris is no stranger to both the outside or center of the ring. He, is bred and exhibited, he bred and exhibited several district show champions, has earned premier breeder and premier exhibitor banners three times, and bred and exhibited the intermediate champion of the Wisconsin Championship Show and several All-Wisconsin and Reserve All-Wisconsin winners. He's also bred the several cows that have earned Junior All-American nominations in 2012, 2013, and 2017 through 2019. As a judge, Chris has placed classes at the Wisconsin, Illinois, Minnesota, and Kentucky State Fairs. He's also judged at the Illinois and Iowa State Shows, Wisconsin Jersey State Show twice, and the Midwest Spring and Red and White Show, the Midwest Fall National Red and White Show, and the Western, United, the Western New York Spring Show. Chris has also traveled to Ecuador, judging at the Makachi Agricultural Fair in 2018. He also sat in the All-American Judging Committee for the Holstein, Jersey, Red and White, and Ayrshire breeds. In 2021, Chris was the associate judge at the All-American Holstein Show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I don't know, Ronaldo, that looks like a pretty good resume to be traveling to Beaver Dam today to judge our 20th Holstein Futurity. What do you think? I think he sounds very qualified, and it's an honor to have him here, that's for sure. As we've talked about earlier, this is the 20th Futurity, and we have been graced with a list of past winners. So we're going to kind of go down this list and enlighten you on who has actually circled the ring here in Beaver Dam and who came out on top over the years. And we're going to see some very familiar prefixes in this list. The first Futurity in 2002 was won by Carbon Durham and uh, owned by Carl Werner. In 2003, it was Will Star Ludek Jazzy, exhibited by Lynn and Sarah Harbaugh. 2004, Crescent Mead had the winner with Sable Farm Durham Pamela. In 2005, it was Crestbrook Encore Classy ET, exhibited by Crestbrook. 06 brought us Linda Bailing with the Welk Shade Sky Chief Dell ET. In, 20, in 2007, Crestbrook was back, winning with Lyle Haven Gypsum. And in 08, Carl Werner was back with Carbon Durham Maxi. In 2009, it was Crestbrook again with Ragai Durham Toby. And in 2010, one more time, Crestbrook with Crestbrook D Chardonnay ET. In 2011, Selcrest, Selcrest won the show with Cransdale Rosa. And in 2012, Ryan Views Sands Ecstasy, owned by Dylan Ryan and Kyle Natsky of Crestbrook. In 2013, Crestbrook again with Crestbrook, Crestbrook Gap Tory ET. In 2014, Smithcrest TW Sid Vixie ET, owned by Smithcrest. In 2015, it was Warmka, Chris, Leah Red, exhibited by Danielle Warmka. And in 2016, Rynearson, Rainy, Razzy Red, owned by Don Rynearson. In 2017, it was Smithcrest, Armani Vivian, exhibited by Smithcrest. And in 2018, the Hildebrand family stood on top with Miljean Define, Jack-O-Lantern. In 2019, Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst were the winners with Ladina Dale, Avalyn, Elena, Red. And in 2021, we heard it during the bios, but the winner was Mary Grunt Gundrum with Mary B. Absolute Love and Red. Let's give all of these top cows over the years a huge round of applause. And their breeders, by the way, and their breeders. One of the things that it takes a, a ton of time and sponsorship to make a show like this um, come to fruition. So I think it's really important that we take the opportunity to recognize those individuals and businesses that make this show a success. The spotlight sponsor for our show this year is Compere Financial. 
Our other sponsors that we have are AI Supply and Company Incorporated. We have Ballwig Implement. We have Central Egg Supply, Central Star Cooperative, Coal Oil and Propane, Dan Bone of Boneview, the Dodge County Dairy Testing Association, the Dodge County Junior Holstein Association, Farmers and Merchants Union Bank, Gearing Sales and Services, Hildebrandt Family Farms, Kleckers Heating and Air Conditioning, Redeker Dairy Equipment, Smithcrest, Tom Lou Holsteins, United Cooperative, the Wapan Veterinary Services, Widmer's Cheese Cellars, and Zastro Hoof Trimming. Let's give these sponsors a huge round of applause for supporting and making this futurity a success. Nothing happens in this ring without those sponsors. Not a thing. So we really appreciate those. And then the next step up, of course, is your Futurity Committee. And before we do this year's or the current committee, let's uh, just reflect a bit on the founding Futurity Committee, because some of them are still around or they're in the ring today. Chairman was Kevin Jorgensen. Co-chair, Bruce and Val Vandy Zandy. That obviously got handed down a generation. John and Lori Powers, people don't go far. I saw Lori carry up that big bouquet of flowers in here before, so she's still in the scene. Lynn Harbaugh, Todd and Krista Wendorf, the late Jim Shaneke, and Bob Kaiser. Now our current Futurity Committee, Angela Pyrick, Ashley Morgan Christian, Ashley Vandy Zandy, Emma Buska, Sarah Wendorf, and Travis and Holly Smith. Let's give that, both of those lists a round of applause. Uh, Terry, we have some important people sitting behind us. I think it's time to uh, get a little information from some of them. What do you think? I agree. Our sponsor, main sponsor this year, of course, is Compeer Financial, and representing Compeer today is Jill Uni. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jill Uni. I'm a financial officer with Compeer Financial, and Compeer is proud to sponsor the Futurity. Compeer focuses uh, strictly on agriculture and enriching rural America. So uh, as a fellow breeder myself, uh, I know the time uh, and effort and the many years that go into breeding uh, cattle, especially for the ones that enter the futurity. So I would just like to congratulate all the exhibitors, the breeders, and the families that have uh, contributed to the futurity over the past 20 years. And of course, we've been hearing from her all week, but again today, Leah Wenninger, the 2022 Dodge County Fairest of the Fair. All right, hello everyone and welcome to the fair. I'm so excited to see that this arena is filled with people watching our amazing exhibitors. I want to congratulate all the exhibitors because they put their heart and soul into this, uh, into their exhibit. And this project especially, it takes a lot of years to get to where they are today. So I want to congratulate them. Don't forget tonight in the grandstand we have Smash Mouth and at 8, at 8 p.m. So thank you all for coming out to the fair. Up next, we have Ma Maddie Hensel, our Wisconsin Holstein Princess. Hello, everyone. I am honored to be here today representing the Wisconsin Holstein Association. My name is Maddie Hensel, and I am proud to be the 2022 Wisconsin Holstein Association Princess. I look forward to seeing those exhibitors participating in the Wisconsin Championship Show next week in Madison, and I'd like to congratulate all of the exhibitors here today. So, I think it's time for a little bit of trivia. This is the 20th anniversary. We'll see who's been paying attention 
over the last 20 years. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to make this work, but we're looking for answers, and then you're going to get a ribbon, just like everybody in the show is going to get a ribbon, a participation ribbon from the 20th Halstein Futurity. Question number one. Who can remember the first best-dressed female? The first best-dressed female of the Dodge County Halstein Futurity. Let's hear some guesses out there. Raise your hand and we'll try to... The first best dressed female. Her initials are MS. Oh, we heard an answer behind us. Mandy Sell. It's correct, Mandy Sell. Now this one I remember. What was Carl Werner wearing in the first Futurity? He was the best dressed male. What was he wearing? Oh, who so we just heard it out there? That yes, is correct. He was wearing later hosen. We need to get some of these ribbons out to our winners. Kevin knew that one. Okay, this one's a numbers guess. Even if you've never been to a Futurity before, let's try your guess. Question number three. How many animals, how many cows were shown in that first Futurity? Three? I heard somebody say three. A few more than that. Somebody said 16? Not quite. How many? Twelve? Nope. Ten? Nope. Twenty, you're getting really close. Now you jumped over. Too high. We're going to play hot and cold here, folks, okay? Seventeen. Too low. Nineteen. Who said nineteen? There's our winner Sarah's right back the winner. here. Nineteen cows. We're in that first futurity. An interesting fact about those 19 cows and then the cows that are in the ring today. The first Futurity of the 19 showed three quarters of the animals were senior two-year-olds. Now this is a change in the industry and in the breed kind of. This year, three quarters of the animals are junior two-year-olds. Now one of the things that I think that the average person doesn't understand is that our breeders are paying a fee and entering these two-year-olds when they're calves. So the next trivia question we're going to ask you, we have 25 cows in the ring today. I need somebody to tell me how many original entries, how many producer, or not producers, but how many entries were placed to get us to these 25 cows today. I'm really getting old. I can't hear. 45? Way low. 153. 153? You're too high. You're too high at 140. 127? You're a little bit too low. 131? You are so close. What'd they say? 133? Who said 133? That is you. Congratulations. Ding, ding, ding. You are the next winner on the 20th Holstein Futurity. So think about that. Originally, 133 entries uh, were originally made to participate in this show today. There are uh, 25 made their way through the process and are here being, representing the industry today. Now, one of, the, one of the things, if you're new to this, you may be wondering why our participants are dressed the way that they were because this is not typical attire for showing a, a dairy cow. 
So there is obviously a contest that we have each year with our best dressed males and females. So what I'd like you guys to do is kind of take a look around, make a mental note, and think about which uh, female and which male do you think is best dressed out there. We've had some judges uh, making their decisions as we're going, and we just want to know if you agree with our judges today. So take a quick look around and uh, make a mental note as to who you think should win our best dressed male and or female. All right, now that you've had a chance to look around, we have our judges' results. Drum roll. The best dressed female is entry number 31. That would be Cassidy Eward. Cassidy, if you want to raise you your, wave your hand. hand for us. Yeah, I agree. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. That's the, pretty brave, wearing that beautiful, sparkly white dress. Almost as brave as Mary wearing her wedding dress last year. <laughs> the best-dressed male went to entry number 15, Trey Hildebrand. Trey. Trey, can you raise your hand for us? There you go. Thank you. Congratulations. And the best-dressed group, and there were three, entered goes to number one the hildebrand family their entries number 7 15 24 and 30 so congratulations to the hildebrand group All right, our judge has spoken and is starting to make some selections. Placing 25th today was entry number two with Brant Fleer and Andrew Buter with Warmka Warrior, Liberty Red. Our least person was Brant Fleer. Number 24 in 24th place was Thomas Bunkuski with Tom Lou, Unix Blondie. Leads person was Kevin Bunkuski. In 23rd place, we have entry number five, Warmka Holsteins with Warmka Diamondback 3493 with our leads person, Danielle Warmka. In 22nd place was Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst with Nails Valley Lovely Red ET with a leads person of Evan Hathaway. In 21st place, we have entry number 27, Justin Patterson, with Inspire Acres, Jacoby Macy. Our leads person was Justin Patterson. In 20th place was Danny and Angela Pyrick with Red Rodeo, our Adelaide Red, with the leads person of Angela Pyrick. In 19th place, entry number 26. Daniel Bone, Bone View Defiant Bella, with our leads person of Cadence Tennies. In 18th place, also Daniel Bone with Bone View Altitude Sophia, led by Tristan Bischoff. In 17th place, entry number 9, Northcrest Dairy, Northcrest Tattoo 3733, with our leads person. Marissa spoke. She was our fourth place junior exhibitor as well. In 16th place was Sean Nails, Nails Valley War Arrow, led by Seth Nails.
Have you selected your winner out there, folks? Rennell, what do you think? I think no matter how good Chris is, he's got his hands full. <laughs> this is a pretty nice ring of two-year-olds. Absolutely agree. Now, if you haven't noticed, there was a theme to this year's 20th Futurity. It was the Roaring Twenties. So if, as you take a look at some of those outfits today, hopefully that led you back to that time as they celebrate their 20th anniversary here at the Dodge County Holstein Futurity. The judge is making it a little bit easier for you at this point. Now you can break it down from your top six. And now we're down to five. Judge McCullough is just making a few finishing touches on this middle group from the show today.
And we'll have those results in just a minute. How do you think those top five exhibitors are feeling right now? Well, excited, obviously, but still nervous. There's a lot of show left. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Just want to give recognition to all these young people in here cleaning this, keeping this ring clean for all these cows. It's not a small job, and thanks to them. Well, here we go. Placing 15th in our show today is uh, Ari Tiana Trayton Hildebrandt exhibiting Miljean War Jost Red. Our leads person was Trey Hildebrandt. Uh, they are junior, uh, bred and owned in third place. So congratulations to them. In 14th place was Mary Foyth with Mary B. Warrior Lovey Red. The leads person, Mary Gundrum. In 13th place, we have Mar Linda K. Holsteins. Our exhibit, or excuse me, our leads person was Kayla Wright in 13th. Okay, Terry, we're going back to 14th place. I was just reading the script. It says Mary Foyk down here, okay? So I was just reading what was on the script. It's really Mary Gundrum, sorry. In 12th place, Miles and Rebecca Schraufnagel, Ledgeway Undenied Laughter, with the leads person, Rebecca Schraufnagel. And in 11th place, entry 31 with Jean Nails, Nails Valley Shocker, Red ET, with our leads person, Cassidy Ewart. In 10th place was Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst with Ladinodale, Warlord Red, leads person, Elizabeth Gunst. They were also a junior-owned, bred and owned, second place junior of the show this afternoon. In ninth place, we had number 19, Jean Nails with Nails Valley A Lover Red with our leads person of Kylie Conan. In eighth place, Miles and Rebecca Schraufnagel with Ledgeway Tattoo Lavish, leads person Paul Giese. And in seventh, we had Steve and Sharon Patterson's entry of Inspire Acres D back H.H. H. Savage with a lease person of Brett Hildebrandt. And in sixth place, Marlinda K. Hulsteins. That's Marlinda K. Sweet Victory, shown by Linda Wright. Let's give all these animals a round of applause. So we're down to our top five as our, our judge today makes his final looks as he carefully compares these top five cows. Kevin has pulled out the secret piece of paper from his jacket to neatly write down their top five for us. I don't know about you, but I'm nervous just sitting here watching it. <laughs> it is fun to watch from this, from this viewpoint. I'm worse than a little kid. I get so excited watching this. Well, and when you're aware of what has gone into this, the, the mating, the, the, the dams, the cow families behind them, the prep before they ever get here, the prep even as calves and yearlings, and then the prep in the barn and getting them here, and it all leads down to this. And they make it look so easy. <laughs>
If you were a winner today of our trivia questions, I'm not sure if you got your nice little handy dandy ribbons. When the show is all over and things settle down a little bit, come on up here and we'll make sure we get you those those ribbons for your winning answers today. You ready for us to start? Ready for us to start? Are we good? Okay, we got All right, here we go. In fifth place. We're going to make, there's a quick correction we've just been told. The 10th place animal owned by Matthew and Elizabeth Gunst, that's Ladinodale Warlord Red, led by Elizabeth Gunst, was actually the winning junior animal. It was junior bred and owned, and it was the winning junior animal. So quickly give her a round of applause. All right, they're in line. It means we can get started. In fifth place... Entry number seven, exhibited by Tia Hildebrandt, Miljean Warrior, Outlaw Red. Entered by Hildebrandt Far Family Farms, LLC. How are you doing on your predictions, folks? In fourth place is number eight, Nails Valley Master Bikini, led by Emma Busca, owned by Sean Nails. In third place, entry number 24, Miljean Tattoo Jigaboo, exhibited by Taylor Leach, by Hildebrand Farms, LLC. And we're down to second place is number 13, Ms. Smithcrest Master All, shown by Travis Smith and Smithcrest and Yadley, which leaves first place and best utter to entry number 28, Ben Buskey, showing Arthusa Tattoo Mammo, exhibited by Ben Buskey. Well thank, am I on? well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's certainly an honor and privilege to be here. The Dodge County Fair has certainly got a lot of memories for all of us, and I think that includes me. In the summer of 93, I was over clipping in the barn right next door to us, and this cute little 17-year-old girl come walking by. Make long story short, I dated that girl at day and four years later I married her and 25 years later we're back at the Dodge County Fair here. But anyways it's been a great class, a great privilege to sort these cows here. I want to thank all the exhibitors, the ringmen, the sponsors, but most of all the people that take care of these cows every day. But for me this first cow as she leads out She's impressive. She's a senior two-year-old. She's long frame. She's got that open rib. I did make her the best uttered cow in the class today. She's got that tremendous width to that udder, a beautiful crease up through there, great teeth position, position on the 
quarters. Just a beautiful, beautiful cow here to win your futurity. Second cow coming along, a junior two that's more recently fresh here. A heifer that just doesn't have quite that mass through her front end, quite that depth and openness of both her fore and rear rib. Not take nothing away from this beautiful, young, immature cow here because she's got a great rear udder. She moves around the ring like a kitten. Great set of feet and legs on this cow. And for me, it is that set of feet and legs that takes her over the cow in third. She's just a little bit more fluent in her movement. She's got a little nicer stride to her step. She's just a little bit more freer in her motion than this really stylish cow coming along in third. Third over fourth for me, just a little bit more midsection on the cow. I think she's got a little bit more drop to that rib, a little bit more depth and openness to both her forward and rear rib. You get out in front and she's just a little wider down through her brisket than this really nice rear uttered cow coming along in fourth. Fourth over this red heifer here. Red heifer here, one of the youngest ones out in the class, one of the most recently fresh ones out in the class here. But I think this red heifer's got an awful lot of come. She just Time is going to be her best friend for her. But I think that fourth heifer over the heifer and fifth, it's just that obvious advantage in length of frame, total mass of frame over the recently fresh one. But once again, congratulations to the Dodge County Futurity. It's been a great show. Congratulations to all the exhibitors. All right, for the exhibitors, if you won any of these awards, you need to stick around for photos. First place, second place, first junior, second junior, best udder, best bred and owned, best junior bred and owned, best dressed female, best dressed male, or best dressed group. Please turn your neck chains into Ashley Vandezandi at Zandy Halstein's area at the north end of the open class barn following the futurity. And they want to have a 1920s photo taken when they're done with the animals. So if you are wearing a costume, please come back and have your picture taken. They'll have a 20th anniversary celebration with a grazing table and cupcakes at 8 p.m. The location is to be determined. That's 8 p.m. tonight, so you don't want to miss a good party. Again, thank you for coming this afternoon and to see the 20th. Dodge County Holstein Futurity.